let me take the example which I took in one of the other classes that there was a milkman who went and delivered milk to various houses during a particular week which is say 30, 34, 32, 38, 36 and 40. So the milkman delivered milk to the following number of houses during various days of a week from Monday to Saturday. Now there was a new house, new house where the milkman went and he said he offered, can I deliver milk to you? So the person, let's say Mr. X, the milkman went to him and told him, I can give you milk. Now X wanted to know if the milkman was serving adequate number of people. So X asked milkman, what is the range of houses in which you are delivering your milk? Now X told him that I, what do I do? I give milk to these many number of houses every week. So if he was told to calculate the range of houses. Now the milkman wanted to know what is the range of customers or the number of houses that he was serving during a particular week. So let us now see the definition. Range of a given set of observation. What are my observation? My observations are these. Can be found by subtracting the lowest observation. So what do I need to do? I need to subtract the lowest observation from highest observation. Now in my example, my observations are this. But many a times it's difficult to find out which is the smallest one and which is the highest one. Why? Because these are all jumbled up. So the first thing that one needs to do is arrange them <coughs> in an ascending order. Now you must be aware what do you mean by ascending order? Ascending order means in increasing order. So which is the lowest number I have? Which is 30. Then 32. Then 34. So these are my various observations written down in the ascending order. Now what is the range? Basically what we found out was that to get the range I need to find out the lowest observation and subtract this lowest observation from the highest observation. Now my highest observation is 40 because this is in the ascending order so it becomes easier for me to write down the ascending the highest observation and the lowest is obviously 30. So the range I get for this particular set of number is 10. Similarly you can easily find out the range of a particular number or a particular set of observation by following a two-step process. First put them in the ascending order. Second, find out the highest one and the lowest one which is easier in the ascending order and then subtract the smallest one from the highest one and therefore you get your range. 